The Bengals dropped their season and home opener 20-0 in an absolutely shocking performance by the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, I was, I, what, not shocking? I, I love how you Daltoners, you know, you continue to be shocked. It's like you guys are expecting Hanukkah presents from Billy Graham. What does this man, what does Andy Dalton need to do for you to just want to give AJ a chance? All right, slow down. Slow down, Hoji. Breathe, okay? I, I do declare. I mean, you're saying McCarran's going to do worse. What exactly does worse look like? I, I just want look, to know. I think I understand your feelings, cowboy. In fact, my first reaction was frustration. Why don't you get the hell out of here? You ruined my life. Are you still holding on to all the anger? I said I was sorry. I meant it. <laughs> I really felt for Dalton on that interception. That interception? Was it noticed by that disgruntled Bengals fan tired of losing that season? Be more specific, Daddy. There were many interceptions. Four, in fact, with a QB rating of 28. Okay, the first one, where linebacker Patrick on Weiser tipped the ball, allowing Brandon Carr to pick it off. Just bad fortune for Andy Dalton, who had to work with so little time, as evidenced by the previous drive when he was sacked. He had more pressure than Carter's got Liverpool. Green was open in space. Dalton's placement was just off, friend. So what other quarterbacks do under pressure, Daddy, and maybe Dalton should try this, is they move around a little in the pocket. He doesn't have to just stare down his target and either throw to him or get sacked. And, sacked. and I don't think pressure explains that pass to core. That you, you could have made that pass. No one in the history on. of the NFL was more wide open than core was uh, on that pass. Yeah, I don't know which play you mean. Here, I have the pass right here on my phone. Yeah, that's not from this game. I don't... My, anyway, my second reaction was deflation. <laughs> just kill one of them. On third and seven, when it looked like we were about to take the lead, and the Bengals just didn't have the gumption to get it done in the red zone. After finally finding his groove, Dalton was trying to find the fell in the back of the end zone, but CJ Moser just makes a very athletic, amazing play. Yeah, again, it's not Dalton's fault, I know. Right, that, that you, did you happen to notice the clean pocket? Please, find a way to blame even that on the offensive line. Oh, oh, I forgot, the, the offensive line was busy throwing interceptions. All right, all right, all of a sudden... After that play, the excitement that had been building up for eight months in my heart, it just went away. And you know, fans, that's the part of all this that hurts me the most. My little friend here, Dadio, he bought bag after bag of hydrogenated uh, puffy snacks in puffy uh, air-filled bags. The man was so excited, and I literally watched the air of hope leave his chest as the Bengals let the air out of the season and his bags of cheesy snacks became deflated. Yes, well, my third reaction was degradation. You're joking. No. No, I want to die. After the second interception, the inexperienced Denard gets fooled by Jeremy Macklin, basically running into Georgie Locke's teammate, and then is way too slow to catch up with him as the Ravens go up 10-0. to zero. And then with just a minute and a half left in the half, Cedric Obwehi doesn't get his hands on Terrell Suggs at all, so uh, Suggs just jumps into the air very easily and deflects Dalton's pass intended for Tyler Boyd, resulting in yet another interception. Right, it's a very good thing we have Abwehi to pin this game on. Well, I, look, Zim agrees with me. Abwehi was not acceptable, his play. Right, Zim? Daddy-o, there is no way that the Bengals can go to the playoffs without solving something with Cedric Abwehi. He has to be traded. If you're looking at the Steelers, you're looking at the Patriots, any of those type of teams like that, they make the moves. They trade, they bench, they cut you, whatever. But we have to cut ties with Cedric Obwehi now. We cannot go to the playoffs with Cedric Obwehi. Maybe Jake Fisher, but they got to figure out something right now. Somebody has to get traded. And that's so crazy for me to say because I'm not one of those knee-jerk reaction type of guys. But you have to do something about Cedric Obwehi now. There's no way you can get to the, through the NFL season without getting Andy Dalton killed. We're not going to have any bodies. Like, nobody's going to be healthy if you keep Cedric Obey, away right there. All right, so what were your reactions, Hoji? Well, my first reaction that year was vindication. I've been saying 
Dalton is holding us back, and I've been saying it for some time. And this game, he didn't just hold us back. No, he drove us off of a cliff. And I could use a number of plays to prove my point, but I'll go with the fumble early in the third, when again, we almost scored to crawl back into the game. Dalton, in addition to his horrible decisions and poor touch on throws, also has terrible pocket presence, and he doesn't sense the rush. And that's entirely on display in this play. Yes, Abway, he gets blown up by sucks. True. But that was expected. I expected it. You expected it, Daddyo. So the question is, why didn't Dalton ex expect it? He takes his time. He pump fakes as if he's posing for the cover of Sports Illustrated. I, I could, right, I, I could right, also yeah. use I could also use his wildly inaccurate throw to A.J. Green with about three minutes left in the game where it looked like he gave up on the team or maybe his career, but I don't want to be cruel. Look, look, Daddyo, I am not. I am not blindly prejudiced against Dalton. I'm not. That would make me like the Daltoners who, who, who can't see his faults and ignore McCarron's virtues. I get it. The offensive line, yes, it's a mess. There was indeed pressure. But if you're going to st stand there and tell me that Andy Dalton only does well when he's surrounded by talent, protected by a great offensive line, and not playing a postseason or prime time game, then I'm not sure what makes him different from most second stringers out there. What we saw tonight is that the Bengals, as they are, the ratty, tattered Bengals that Uncle Mike Brown has wrapped in fishy-smelling newspaper and given to us for our birthdays, that Bengals team needs someone else at the QB position if we are even going to have a chance. This game proved what I've been saying yeah. for going on four yeah. years. Now, what is your final now, reaction, partner? My final reaction, Daddy, is needs to take a vacation. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Welcome to Marathon. May I help you? Yes. It's hard work being a McCarran truther, Daddy. I and my like-minded fellows, male and female alike, we retweet each other, but it seems like we are floating out at sea and the zombie-like Daltoners cannot or will not hear us. I need to avoid watching these games or else I'm going to go on these vegan binges like I was on today. I kind of went a little bit overboard. I need to take care of my health, Daddy, or you won't have Hoji around much longer. Oh, don't say that, Buckaroo. Daddy, what is this, man? Buckaroo Druthers Cowboy. What, what, what's this nonsense? Why do you keep talking like this, man? I, I, I can't stand it. What's going on? I, I don't... I mean, people say they don't like my... No, what they is don't it? like what's our it? accents. I thought that, you know, change it up a little bit. Daddy, it's not about the accents, okay? It's not? No, the accents not improving. It's about the pictures. It's about these drawings, these childlike drawings. We need puppets. And if you fans want to help, you got to click on this link and you got to help us. Help us become 3D real analysts because we deserve, we deserve it, you deserve it. You, the fans, yeah. deserve that. Yeah, I mean, look, we have collected uh, $246 as I make this show. And that is $254 away from our $500 first call of $500. That is when we can make the deposit on the puppets. If we can make that deposit, we can start the process with the good people at Puppet Collective and we can get those puppets and get better and, you know, more shows for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Look, boys and girls, cancel that subscription that you have to Game Pass. You don't need to watch these games. It's not good for your health, not good for your blood pressure, not good for your heart. Instead, send that money to pay for puppets for us. We'll show you the clips that are important. We'll, sh we'll give you the analysis that you need and you're going to love it. It's going to be good for you. It's going to be good for... You know, your mind, your heart, your body, and your spirit. So send that money in and turn us into the real 3D analysts that we were born to be. Yeah, we'll see you next time.